In this video, we'll be discussing about the myosin, which is the actin-based motor protein. This motor protein moves along the actin filaments, and this movement is aided by ATP. Since myosin can convert the energy released by ATP hydrolysis into the mechanical work. The first myosin to be discovered was the myosin 2, isolated from skeletal muscle. Here in this diagram, we can see the basic structure of myosin 2 protein. This is the heavy chain, the pink color part is the regulatory light chain, and the green one is the essential light chain. These two sites on the head domain are the actin binding sites. And on the inner side, we have the nucleotide binding site, where the ATP gets bound to it. If we see this myosin protein, it has got three basic regions, the head, the neck, and the tail. And to determine how many regions or parts are there, we put myosin protein into proteolytic cleavage, which reveals all its structures. First of all, proteolytic cleavage is done by the chymotrypsin, which is termed as chymotrypsin cleavage. In this cleavage, the myosin 2 protein is cleaved into HMM and LMM, as shown in the animation. The HMM is the heavy myosin, and LMM is the light myosin. Then in the next step, we have the papain cleavage. This papain acts on HMM and cleaves it into S1 and S2 domains. The S1 is the head part and S2 is the neck part of HMM. Now let's see the three common class of myosin proteins. First, we have the class 1 myosins. We see the members of the myosin 1 class are the only myosins to have a single head domain. It has step size of 10 to 14 nanometer with the functions like membrane association and endocytosis. Then we have class 2 myosins. These molecules have two head domains as shown in the diagram. And we have also two light chains per neck. And these are the only class that can assemble into bipolar filaments. Class 2 myosins have 8 nanometer step size and it aids in muscle contraction. And the last major myosin we have is the class 5 myosins with a step size of 36 nanometer and it aids in organelle transport. Myosin 5 molecules have two head domains and six light chains per neck as shown in the diagram. Then there is another myosin protein which is called the myosin 6 protein. This is different from other proteins because this myosin moves towards minus end. All other myosins move towards plus end, but this is the only myosin which moves towards the minus end. And why it is so? Because in its structure of motor domain, it has insert, a small insertion as shown in the figure. You can see in the diagram, we have the motor domain for myosins and all myosins have almost same motor domain. But this myosin 6 protein domain has different structure than other myosins like it has insert in it that makes it different from other myosins that's why this myosin moves towards minus end so this is all about myosin proteins and its classes i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up do consider supporting my work on patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel thanks